안녕입니다. Welcome back to Let's Speak Korean. Today is our 40th day together, and in the East, they say if you're 40 years old, you're not swayed by all the temptations around you. So I'm sure if you've been with us from the very beginning learning Korean, you won't be swayed by any temptations either. The same goes for Scott and Christine. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Christine Imnida. 안녕하세요. Scott Imnida. Okay, let's start today's program off with a conversation using what we learned last time. Okay, Christine. Mm -hmm. 내일 저녁에 약속이 있습니까? 아니요, 없습니다. 음, 그럼 음악회에 갈까요? 어, 아니요, 가지 맙시다. 아, 그럼 무엇을 할까요? 한국어 공부를 합시다. 아, 오케이. 아, 좋습니다. <웃음> 어디에서 만날까요? 어, 회사 근처에서 mm -hmm. 만납시다. 오케이. Okay. Excellent. What a studious person you are, Christine. <laughs> well, I've been studying a lot. Actually, uh, there was one incident where I called my parents and I said, oh, 안녕하세요, instead of hello. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, you will be teaching your parents Korean. I hope so. Right? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Take a look at what's coming up next and try to figure out what today's lesson is about. ago I was here at the Han River, but that time I was riding a boat and now I'm here standing on the bank. It's really different to be standing on the side than it is to be on the water. Well, would you like to go on a walk with me? Hey, let's go down and take a closer look. I wonder how deep it is. It looks pretty deep. Oh, maybe I'll go ask him. Uh, excuse me? Uh, 한강의 깊이는 얼마죠? 한국말을 아십니까? 한국말을 아십니까? 네, 조금 압니다. 네, 조금 압니다. 약 5m입니다. Okay, thank you. Wow, five meters, that's pretty deep. You know, since we all live such a busy city life, it's really nice to come out here and reflect on things. It's also nice that the river is right in the middle of Seoul, so it's easy to get to. Well, I'm gonna go back to my thoughts, so I'm gonna have to see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. Sue went on a Han River tour boat a few days ago. I see this time she went to a riverside park. Christine, have you been to one of those parks? Mm -hmm, yeah, I've been to one near Shinchon Station. I went for a walk with a friend. What did you think park. about the place? I thought it was really nice to see people relaxing after such a busy day. And right. It's always so pretty when the sun is shining. Mm -hmm. Yes, many families enjoy spending time together there, right? Mm, yeah. and Scott, do you go to riverside parks often? Oh, yeah, sure. I like to take my bike out there and just kind of ride along the river. It's really mm. relaxing, Bicycle. especially at night. Bicycle or motorbike? Yeah, the motorbike. Motorbike, wow. Yeah. Okay. I wish I had more time to go out and enjoy the river, too. Yeah, take a chance. Well, it's not mm, bad. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Better get back to work. Now, Christine, remember where you heard the sound? Yes, it was uh, Hanguk Malul Ashimnika, mm -hmm. and the answer was Ne Chokum Omnika Omnida. Perfect. Okay, let's practice one more time, Christine. Repeat. Hanguk Malul Ashimnika. Hanguk Malul Ashimnika. And Scott, the answer mm -hmm. Ne Chokum Amnida. Okay, Ne Chokum Amnida. So, Scott, what do you think we're learning? about today? I'll, I'm not really sure today, but I'm going to guess, we haven't had chokum yet, so I'm guessing chokum? Oh, what we're going to learn today is a little more complicated than that. Oh, no. Mm, I'll <laughs> guide you through it step by step, okay? Okay. We're going to talk about real verbs today, and by real verbs, I mean verbs that have the stems ending in the real consonant or the L sounding consonant. Scott, what are some real verbs that you already know? Uh, maybe to live, salda, mm -hmm. or to make. Mandulda. Lots of you. Okay. Christine, can you think of any? Um, how about to know, which is alda. Uh -huh, alda. Mm -hmm. As I, in? I can. Okay, for an example, alasunida. Alasunida, which means I see, right? Mm -hmm. I understand. That's right. 
Now, what's special about these verbs is that these verbs are irregular. And by irregular, I mean the ryul consonant or the l sounding consonant in the stem drops when it's followed by certain consonants. Now, what I'm explaining is probably just going over your head and it's not making much sense, so I'll explain it with this chart over here. Let's take a look. Here I have three verbs, alda, to know, salda, to live, yolda, to open. Now, as you can see, all the verb stems have ryul in them, al, sal, yol. Now, when these verb stems are followed by certain endings that start with either piup or shiot, then the ryul drops. So here, in amnida, you don't see any trace of the ryul, okay? Now, let's repeat this line together. Amnida. Amnida. Ashimnida. Ashimnida. Ashimnika. Ashimnika. Okay, Scott, then why don't you try the next one? Okay. Uh, samnida. Mm -hmm. Sashimnida. Mm -hmm. And Sashimnika. Okay, then, Christine, you try the verb yolda to open. Present tense. Okay, yamnida. Present tense honorific. Yashimnida. Mm -hmm. And present tense honorific question. Yashimnika. Good. Now, instead of trying to memorize the rule, it might be easier to try to learn them in sentences. Now it's time to listen to some native speakers for some more examples. 영어를 아십니까? 영어 네, 영어를 압니다. 한국 노래를 아십니까? 한국 노래 네, 한국 노래를 압니다. 어디에 사십니까? 종로 종로에 삽니다. 무엇을 여십니까? 창문 창문을 엽니다. Okay, now let's practice with pictures. I have a picture of a house here. Let's just say this little girl is Christine. Okay, Christine, oh. answer my question in Korean. Okay. 어디에 사십니까? 신촌에 삽니다. Mm -hmm. You live in Shincheon. Let's repeat it one more time. 신촌에 삽니다. 신촌에 삽니다. Mm -hmm. And you see the ryul, the L sound, mm -hmm. is dropped in both the question and the answer, right? Right. Okay, next one then. Here we have Scott, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, Scott's okay. opening a window. <laughs> okay, then Scott, 무엇을 여십니까? Okay, 창문을 엽니다. Mm -hmm. One more time, 창문을 엽니다. Okay. 창문을 엽니다. And again, the deal disappeared, right? Right. Okay, that takes us to focus in. Let's learn some new expressions. Mosulmandashimika Now let's talk about adverbs. We already learned some adverbs of degree before. We're going to learn some new ones. I have a chart here to make things easier, and in particular, we're going to practice with the verb to know, alda. Okay? Here I have words like aju, which we already know means very, chogum, little, and mani a lot. Okay, so aju chogum alda would be no very little, chogum alda, no little, and then alda in the middle, mani alda, no a lot, no much, aju mani alda, no very much. Okay, then Christine, answer my question in Korean using one of these adverbs, okay? Okay. 한국어를 아십니까? Mm, or ne chokam amnida. You're so modest. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> then Scott, Hangugo Kungbuga Temi Isimnika. 
Oh, of course. As you money, Timmy is from Nida. Good. I'm glad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now it's time for Korea Alive. Let's see what Lisa has for us today. Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Korea Alive. What am I doing with this helmet? Well, I'm going cruising on my motorcycle after the show. Don't you think I would look great on a motorcycle? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyhow, let's take a look at the clip to see what our Konglish word for the day is. Otobai. Try that again. Otobai. Any idea? No, no idea. No, no idea? I'm not sure what that no. is. Uh, want to buy? I don't know. No? Otobai. Uh-huh. It's an English word, but we pronounce it that way. Otobai. How interesting. Anyhow, before we start today's study, let me tell you how I got my motorcycle. Actually, I borrowed it from a friend. And I had a pretty weird experience. I asked my friend if I could borrow his motorcycle, and I was pretty offended because he kept saying, what, what? And I kept asking him, can I borrow your motorcycle? And he was like, what? So finally, I got a magazine and I showed him the picture of the motorcycle. And guess what he called it? He called it an auto buy. Not a motorcycle, but an auto buy, which is auto bike. I think what they do is take the word automatic and bike and put it together and called it autobuy. So if you learn a few more Konglish words, it might help you settle a few misunderstandings between your Korean friends. And don't forget autobuy. It means motorcycle. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, Lisa. We talked about ryul irregular verbs today. We said that ryul in the verb stem drops when it's followed by certain consonants, such as piup or shiot in the ending. Now, today's key expressions were 한국어를 아십니까? 네, 조금 압니다. Now, let's repeat them one more time before we go, okay? Christine, repeat. 한국어를 아십니까? 한국어를 아십니까? Mm -hmm. And Scott, mm -hmm. 네, 조금 압니다. 네, 조금 압니다. Okay. Remember, the best way to learn these irregular verbs is by practicing them in sentences. So keep practicing, and we'll be back next time. 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요.